Hey guys, it's me again. I uh, just um, want to briefly talk about the purpose of the church. And I just want to say that the time for planting churches is over. Uh, maybe for the past um, 2,000 years, that was different. You know, the previous, well, almost 2,000 years. But, you know, or maybe the last few decades, maybe that may have been true that, you know, we were supposed to be planting churches all over the world. Maybe. Not really, but if even that was ever the case, it's no longer the case. Um, our main job today as the body of Christ, as the bride of Christ, is to spread the gospel and warn people of the soon coming great tribulation and offer, him, offer them the escape that we who belong to Jesus Christ know as the rapture. That's it. That's our job as the body of Christ, is to warn people of the Great Tribulation and the rapture that's going to get us out of here before all of this stuff happens to the world, judgment, Antichrist, all that. So um, I know a lot of pastors are still talking like, you know, our purpose here is to plant churches all over the world, make Jesus be known to the whole world. It's, it sounds nice and all, but no, that's not our purpose anymore. Yes, we're to make Jesus known so that people can get saved right before the Great Tribulation hits now. You know, um, planting churches is just a business. It's always been. So, um, but yeah, it's not the season for planting churches anymore. Anybody who tells you that, most likely a pastor, just loves his money because it's just like opening another McDonald's somewhere and, you know, you know how that goes. So, um, Saints, don't get discouraged. Uh, time is short. Keep looking up. The birth banks are all around us, as I like to say all the time. It's not going anywhere, but we are. So preach the gospel. Ignore the post-tribbers. Ignore those people who trust in themselves and think that we have to go through the Great Tribulation and get beheaded and all that, and they think they're going to earn their salvation. You know, um, Yeah, those people will get their chance at the Great Tribulation, and that's probably where they're going to get saved. But they're not saved today, so ignore them. Well, maybe you can plead with them to put their faith in Jesus today instead of putting their faith in their own righteousness and um, their ability to um, endure to the end. Because, um, yeah, when they get left behind, yeah, that they will have to endure to the end. But thankfully for um, those of us who um, believe in Jesus and our faith is in what he did for us on the cross, then we don't have to worry about anything that's going to happen to this world, the Great Tribulation. Um, because um, we'll be out of here before any of that hits. So um, just be encouraged. There's going to be a lot of mockers, a lot of um, scoffers. But yeah, preach the gospel. Warn your loved ones, your friends, your relatives, co-workers. Warn them of the great tribulation that's soon to um, come upon this earth and offer them the one escape, which is our faith in Jesus Christ. If, you know, they manage to um, repent and put their faith in Jesus, you know, before any of this happens, then, you know, they'll be part of the rapture. Um, when that trumpet sounds, then we'll all go up with them. So that's my quick message.